Hi friends, good afternoon. Uh, again, we have uh, one more success story from Akshay and he has received one more offer letter. So within a month, uh, this is the second offer letter is received and with the four years of experience and at the age of 36, he is able to crack continuously the offer letters. So one with 13.5 lakhs uh, and second offer letter is received is 16 lakhs yesterday and offer letter had to be received. And we have uh, Akshay here. Akshay, once more, congratulations. I think uh, even the recession is there because okay. of your knowledge and experience, I think you're able to crack the interview and uh, share me your you know experience, you know, talk about our syllabus, talk about our training and uh, whatever you would like to share, please share. I'll give you some five minutes of time. We'll you know, conclude the session within five minutes. Okay, yeah. Okay. First of all, I would like to thank you for... Uh... The continuous guidance, you know, I've been all, uh, always in touch with you and that has helped me, you know, uh, I was, like I said, I, I chose, uh, decided to choose one guru and uh, that has helped me immensely because uh, if you go online on YouTube or uh, all these other channels, you will find a lot of clickbaits, but uh, nobody is telling the truth, to be very frank. Uh, I still remember you were told me only one thing, that the skills are the only thing that will matter. The rest of the things will not matter at all. So, uh, yeah. and I kept that in mind and I worked very hard and I followed that direction. Mm -hmm. um, second most important thing is that uh, in the videos and you have been telling again and again uh, while mentoring that uh, uh, please do not, uh, you know, focus on other things or other, uh, you know, material because it will confuse you more and more. Yes. And uh, the most important thing is that in all the interviews, 80 to 90 percent of the questions have been covered in the uh, you know uh, in your course material. So there is no need of going on some Udemy or YouTube or you know the there are so many posts and PDFs people will post. You know it will confuse and not uh, give the right uh, direction. It can even scare you sometimes whether uh, you know these type of questions will be asked and they are not asked actually. Correct. Yeah. So uh, this is the most important and 50 to 60 percent of the questions are always on SQL. Sometimes it could be 70 percent also. Uh, in fact, uh, there was, uh, you know, some Power BI interview where even 70 percent of the questions were SQL questions. Okay. So I think SQL is very, very, very important topic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you have mentioned also that you are uh, in the SQL classes that uh, you know, focus on uh, uh, three topics that are very important. One is the joins topic. One is the indexes topic. And uh, the third one is the stored procedures. And they will definitely ask questions on these three topics. A lot of, you know, a lot of questions will be asked around these topics. Very so, good. Mm. so I think, uh, you know, uh, getting uh, hands on on these uh, three topics is extremely important. In fact, there were times when I told them that I have not worked on triggers or I have not worked on this and they were okay, uh, absolutely okay with it. But whatever did, you... Yeah. How did you feel about the training and uh, the projects we provided, the case studies we have given? So how is with, that helpful to I, you? I think without the case studies, it is uh, almost impossible to crack any interview, I would say. Like the project is the most critical part of... Uh, the entire uh, interview process because uh, they will ask only questions on the interview. They cannot assess your skills any other way because uh, they will ask you questions. What is the size of the database? How the data was coming? You know, what connections you are making? These type of questions you will they will ask you. So without the project, you will not be able to answer anything. Correct. Because if you if we make some project on some Titanic, or some COVID case study, they will know that uh, you are not a skilled guy and you will not be able to handle any tough uh, task. So in that scenario, they, they may not be able to select you. So project is very, very, I think, the most important thing. Yeah. Without the project, we should not even attempt to start uh, uh, you know, uh, taking the calls because uh, you will definitely not be able to pass any interview at yeah. any level, I would say. Yeah. See, normally many people, what they do, they can learn the course. So course only uh, alone, you know, if you're thinking about the course, that is not enough. So you need to have the proper mentor. So what kind of a help you got it, you know, from us, especially from me, 
from the go online trainings as well as a mentoring what i'm talking about i am uh, i like i said before i joined also i had called you i remember that call very vividly in the morning uh, 7 o'clock you had i had mailed you that uh, please give me a suitable timing and uh, you had given me uh, some 7:30 or 8 o'clock you had called yeah. me yeah. and uh, i remember i told you that i am in a whatever situation i am in and uh, i really need to you know get my life back on track i think this is a situation for many people uh, or many students who are already in your enrolled you know correct yeah. and um, you told me very very clearly the path that has to be taken so and at every point i remember i have messaged you so many times yeah. or i have mailed you uh, in fact my resume was prepared by you so the changes were uh, that were required to be made all the guidance was provided so at at that correct time and th- those things actually mattered a lot because mm. if we keep doing things we may keep, keep wasting time only to realize later that uh, we have wasted time you know and yeah. our energy so yeah. it is better to go with the guru because he has already seen uh, you have seen 20 years you have seen thousands of students yeah. you know every mistake that they can make so if you can guide that okay don't make this mistake and we follow it blindly that re- importance will come not will not come to know at that point but future in time will have a flashback okay you know this is the reason why you told us to do a certain you know thing or a certain task or you know like those assignments that you have uh, those three case studies that you told you know practice yeah. it at least three times hmm. or four times may you, some many people i know may not think that it is not so important but when you do it actually you know perform the case studies then uh, in real time when the interview is going to ask you questions you will be able to crack all the questions you know that uh, importance is uh, later on so practice like you said is very very important they will ask and there is no time in the most important thing is i have observed that there will be no time in between the questions they yeah. will not uh, wait to ask you the next next question they will not tell you whether the answer is right or wrong correct yeah. it will be uh, like a rapid fire question uh, answer round quickly they will back to back they will ask you know like uh, okay tell me how you will find the unmatched data how you will find this how you will you know if the if your database uh, i mean package is failing mm. after that how will you update the records you know Correct. so i think this uh, point you had already mentioned in your exercise videos mm. and okay you start incremental loading again you know use a lookup transform these type of things if you pay attention make the notes and keep revising Mm-hmm. you will have, while uh, giving the interview it will be automatic for you you know like yeah. uh, mechanical yeah. you are just they are asking you are answering they are asking you are answering yeah. and you know in your mind that the answer is also right yeah. it is not an answer which is a vague answer you know that the answer is also right yeah. and if i think once you know that 70 to 80% of the questions you have answered mm-hmm. uh, then you are very confident that you have cracked the interview because the after the final round just before the hr round they mm. will be asking you uh, okay so you can tell me what uh, you know role you are expecting what uh, tell uh, what questions you have so they will be very curious to know what you feel about the company and what role you are expecting Excellent. so immediately you know that uh, they have you know passed you you know and uh, in that uh, you know many times i have come to know that okay i have already passed i don't even need to wait for hr Mm. to call me and tell me that i've passed because the l2 or l3 round guys will be pushy and asking me okay what role are, what is the future that you're looking at what yeah. side you want to go whether you want to do etl work you want to do sql work you know they will be asking or you want to do visualization related role mm. and uh, they will be uh, curious to you know uh, assign your role based on what you are requiring because they realize that you have the skill and talent yeah one more thing akshay you know you, you said me already you got a second offer and there are also a few more offers in the pipeline correct so can you correct. tell me you know about those offers as well uh, actually i am getting many calls from uh, these mncs like accenture capgemini hexaware mm. uh, ltim but uh, uh, i am looking not so much into these mncs because i want to learn Mm. this is my most important criteria that i want to learn right now yeah. and uh, this is the general observation that in very big mncs mm. the uh, work assigned is a uh, uh, may not be that skilled Correct. so the career progression may slow down immediately mm. 
so sure. that is the reason why i am not uh, you know if there is a call i will probably take the call but i will not uh, go further yeah. with the calls yeah uh, thank you akshay uh, guys uh, i wanted to you know cut this session and later i wanted to record separate session with akshay uh, akshay just now and what are the questions uh, different people have asked so how you know what are the questions he got it and how he has answered so that session also i'm going to be recording you know so before that do you have any other questions to ask one or two questions you know please ask otherwise we'll stop the session now and we'll you know initiate within two minutes the next session guys any other uh, thing you would like to ask one or two questions yeah akshay take it yeah. akshay uh, comrade yeah thank you i want to know that uh, how do you get calls and where do you upload your resume and it is the one problem or either multiple uh i see the see the resume was made by uh, vaskar sir i mean there were lot some modifications and obviously nobody is perfect but uh, there was a format that uh, uh, you know format was provided after the training based on that i made my cv and uh, i had mailed sir so he had uh, told me that you please make these modifications after that only on nokri.com i have uploaded nowhere else so when did you update a diary at what time update yeah no i have not updated any profile after that that is the only profile i have A approach is the same no i said the uh, your resume has to be perfect because uh, that resume will be scanned by hr and it will be yeah. sent to the uh, the managers or the team leads they will look at the resume and they will scan it in 5 or 10 seconds i think and if they they find that the skill is suitable for their uh, uh, for a position in their you know team then they will give you a call hr will give you a call Yeah. So you need to probably work on your resume. Yeah, I have prepared my resume and sent to the boss officer, and sent the uh, boss officer sent to it is perfect and approved to the. Uh, yeah. Your... So few more things uh, uh, you have to do it. So one is that you know don't apply for only Hyderabad because calls if you're applying for Hyderabad it will be difficult for you to get them, and apply for other cities like Bangalore, Pune, Chennai. and if you are willing to relocate there are many job opportunities right so recently along with akshay there is one more girl from vizag and uh, she is a homemaker and uh, she was working for a tech mahindra in call center her name is madhavi even she was facing the same issue but i told her to you know go look for the remote locations immediately she got one offer with uh, tcs uh, bangalore she joined recently i think November second, she joined. So I think Akshay joined on uh, you know November twenty 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 three, right? So she joined. Yeah. So you will be able to get when you apply for remote locations. Okay, please do some changes and make <sighs> sure that you also you know visit goonlinetrainings dot com website and we are posting lot of jobs over there on daily basis. And apart from that, you need to sit you know for, uh, in the naukri dot com on daily basis. and apply daily 20 to 30 jobs so minimum 3 to 4 years of experience you need to put it and all these things you need to do it regularly if you still if you have you know difficulties so well, i think you can just reach me once again so that i will be able to help you is it okay good good yeah sir yeah Hello, so i was sir sir yeah sir uh, just uh, my question for you sir uh, is ss sorry this azure data factory is a replacement of uh, ssis sir not replacement it is enhancement so can yes. we go through directly for ss uh, sorry adf is 80% of ssis only because adf you will not be able to learn pure etl concepts sorry, so azure data factory can... i strongly recommend you learn ssis then learning adf will be very very difficult will be very easy okay na okay sir okay yeah. uh, akshay yeah. i want to know yeah. one more thing correct uh, akshay, akshay. hello yeah ask me yeah panel is asking lot many questions but if okay. I, if i don't know uh, the particular question how did you tell that that fact so you don't know that question on i would simply say i don't know i have not worked on it they they I are not that is they fine are not, 
so i never worked on is the right answer if somebody is asking i am yeah, i am not worked on it I, that is correct. the answer i will give that i have not worked on this yeah i tell that but they are not satisfied with my that's why i'm asking how do you approach unknown questions like See, uh, you will nobody will know hundred percent of the questions. Even if I ask the panelists some questions, they may not be able to answer it, in spite of more than ten to fifteen years of experience. But if you are able to answer seventy to eighty percent of the questions, then definitely the they know that you are uh, some skilled guy. Yeah, 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 got it. Okay, so thank.